Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. This time we're looking at another 3D printed project I've, I've been working on. I didn't print this, so let me preface. This was a gift uh, from a buddy of mine, Lucas. Uh, he goes by The Force of Others on Instagram, so follow him. He is local um, and he has been 3D printing for a little bit longer than me. And um, yeah, he, he printed this one out and, and gave it to me. So I'm, I took the next step and painted it all up. Um, yeah, it was pretty much just raw files that he printed. I'm not sure where he got the file, so I may have to ask him, and if I can, I will uh, drop the link in the description below. So, thanks again, Lucas, if you're watching. appreciate it, man. Um, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So, obviously, i got the Vintage Collection Mall sitting on the throne here, looking awesome. Um, but, yeah, he basically sent it to me, sort of loosely assembled with blue tack. Um, and since I've pulled it apart and... Uh, reassembled I have sort of super glued it together and I don't know I feel, feel like it looks pretty damn good um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with it you know I'd love to find a uh, a nice finishing sort of coating that to, to do on some prints in the future you know still quite a novice at this 3d printing thing and especially with the finishing um, without sanding too much um, to find like a nice sort of UV resin coating for these things so this is this actually turned out pretty well so I, I enjoyed the painting side of it this morning so yeah it was black the orange bits were white this was black and yeah there's a thin thin piece of white on the back which actually worked to a really good advantage in the end so I'll, I'll run through that in just a moment but yeah it comes together pretty nicely I'm pretty happy with how it looks. It's going to be a nice display piece for, for the shelf, um, for the Clone Wars shelf, with Maul sitting on it. I've had to unfortunately take him from his jewel with Ahsoka, so um, I might have to get another Maul <laughs> just to uh, continue having that having that jewel because that's probably one of my favourite jewels in Star Wars. It was the Maul versus Ahsoka on Mandalore, but. You've got to have the throne, you've got to have Malt sitting on the throne, so came out really nicely and uh, yeah, it, fit, it looks, looks awesome there. So yeah, what I was able to achieve too with, the, with this being quite light, like this white plastic here ended up being quite thin is when I painted it a sort of I gave it sort of an orange like this and then down the bottom I sort of gave it a sort of yellow and sort of painted some yellows um, up just so it looked like that sort of almost stained glass look and even better if I just get so I have one of these little switch lights so you just really turn it on and it is really bright so you step behind it really really shines if I just turn this light off you can see just how effective that is this gives it that real sort of stained glass effect chuck them all back on it and that is uh <laughs> I'm so stoked with how that actually turned out it looks really good I'm really really impressed with it I may even uh, switch this out and just put some like, small LED strip lights or something on the back of it. I don't know. I probably won't do too much to it, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really stoked with how that sort of that sort of change in color coming up from like a yellow to an orange, it just came out really well and that was almost just a fluke more than anything. So, I'll just sort of see the pattern there as it's coming through. On. And, uh, yeah, this will probably end up being my uh, thumbnail for the video, just with that nice lighting there. Came out really well. I'm I'm really excited. I'll have to hear what you guys think about this one. Um, yeah, it'd be something I'd like to I'd like to have a crack at again in the future. So just sort of see print it out myself and sort of see how it goes. But I'm I might even bump it up in scale and do a uh, six inch scale version of it for the Black Series figures. Not that we've got them all yet, but um, fingers crossed one day. 
All right, guys, let me know what you think. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, again, go subscribe to Lucas at the forces, the force of others on Instagram. Thanks, guys. May the force be with you always.